hello and welcome back friends to this new video and in this video I am going to show you how you can reduce the file size of an image that can be uploaded in any web portal you might have encountered a situation in which you have to upload your photograph a signature or a document in JPEG format in a website like a form applying for a job or an examination for example I have a form here in which I have to apply for an examination and have to upload this photograph and signature in the prescribed file size the file size for the photograph is maximum 50 KB and the signature is 20 KB and also I have to upload the birth certificate which is the maximum file size is given as 100 KB but as you can see the file size of this birth certificate which I have scanned is 1.06 MB and the application form is 1.64 MB so I need to reduce this size that can easily fit the requirement there may be many situations uh, or forms or online application formats in which you have to upload such kind of documents in JPG format so today I'm going to show you how you can do this in your own laptop or desktop using Photoshop so open Photoshop click on file open first of all we need to make the file size of this birth certificate image 200 KB now there are two steps in this first you need to crop it to the requirement that means we don't want this excess white space we only want the birth certificate border here so that it fits the frame and also it will help in reducing the size of the image so first of all we need to go to crop tool here and then move this by clicking on the mouse left click button and make it to the appropriate size that we want after that is done click here and it is selected you can zoom in using control and plus key on your keyboard and zoom out by control and minus key on your keyboard so as you can see this is our file now we can little bit correct the image brightness contrast using this option go to image adjustment brightness contrast move it so that it looks proper if you want you can go to levels also and you can move the slider up and down to make it more clear sometimes while scanning the document properly the text is not visible so once it is done the next step is to reduce the file size if I go to file and click on save for web this will be useful for saving it to upload in any website now as you can see the file is shown here and the size is 216 KB you can adjust the quality here so that it will decrease or increase the size of the file if I click on maximum it will increase the file size to 800 KB but I want it less than 100 if I make it low it will become 163 KB so that is also not up to the mark and there is not much option left here you can move the slider of this quality button here to minimum but then also you can see the size is more than 100 KB so for this type of situation when you are uploading or you want to upload or reduce the size of a large document like this one you need to first go to image 
image size and you can see here resolution you need to make it 72 pixels that is the minimum pixel resolution so that the document is not distorted or also it will help to reduce the size of the file so I recommend to make it 72 pixels for all kinds of large documents that you have to upload like birth certificate, driving license, PAN card, Aadhaar card etc. Now click on OK. As you can see the resolution has been decreased but the file is not distorted. You can zoom in to see that the file is exactly like it was before. Now you can go to file, save for web. And now you can see if I go to maximum it is 119 KB and very high it is 82 KB so that is all well you can also move this slider to reach a maximum limit of 100 KB but I will recommend to keep it below 100 KB because sometimes it does not get uploaded so I will keep it at 86 quality that is very high and make sure it is at JPEG and you can see the file size here as 92.26 KB so that is fair enough and you can click on save once it has saved it will go away and you can close it so let's see how the size has been decreased so you see this is the original one that was scanned that is 1.06 MB and this is the reduced size file that is of 93.1 KB. You can see the quality of the image is exactly the same. Next we move to the photo and signature. For my requirement the photo must be 50 KB. For your situation it may be 10 KB or 20 KB. So depending upon that you may choose the following two options. The first method is same for photo and signature and any other document. You need to crop it to the desired dimension. So click on the crop tool. You can zoom in by pressing Ctrl and plus key. Once it is done, click on here. And now this is selected now if we go to file save for web you can see the file size is 42 KB that is well enough for my situation but you may have another situation in which the photograph must be of 20 KB so you can select out of these options medium or low to make it a little bit smaller in size but make sure it does not go below 10 KB but sometimes you may also need to upload the photo for a file size of less than 10 KB. Then you need to select the lowest setting possible so that it goes below 10. So you can play around with these options to see how the size of the file changes and you can choose the required and desired file size from these options. So I need 50 KB or less than that. So I will select very high setting from here that is 35 and then I will move this slider a little bit so to make it a little bit near to 50. So I will keep it at 84 and make sure it is at JPG and click on save. So that is done. Then again you need to go back to that form. Press Ctrl and Alt key together and press on Z key on your keyboard to return back to the previous page. Then again go to crop tool and you can select the area you want to crop like this by clicking and holding your left click on your mouse and leave it when you are done. Position it so that excess spaces are cropped from this we don't require this kind of thing now while uploading signature it is recommended that 
the signature must be in a straight line so to make that you can click on this corner of the crop tool from here or here and you can rotate your mouse like so so that it becomes straight you can follow these grid lines here to make the image straight so that is enough I will make it little bit more wide so that it fits all the signature here and then click here and this is the selection we need now we need to make the size of the signature for 20 KB so the process is same just after cropping it go to file save for web and you have to select from here low or medium you can see it is 16 at medium and that is most suitable for me if you have less than that you can select from this low or if you require less than 10 KB then you will need to change the resolution from here and then try again for saving it like I showed you with the birth certificate document so I will save it as medium settings and that is enough for me and click on save. Now sometimes you need to change the signature to black ink. Most of the websites while filling the form they require the signature to be in black ink. But you might not have a black ink signature given on your form. Then how will you change this to the black and white color? Just go to the image, click on mode and click on grayscale. Click on discard and now you can see it is all black and white. Then go to this image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. You can increase or decrease to make it little bit more popped out so that the signature is neat and clean if you have some spots like this one you can see there is a black spot here mostly from the form that I had scanned you can click on this brush tool select a white background here click on this icon make it white here and then just slide it over so that it is removed then you can save it again for your desired file size this is 17 kb click on save and now this is done let us check this was the application form in which the photo and signature was present and now you can see the photo is of 41 kb and the signature the colored one is 17 KB and the black and white is 18 KB so this is what I require so accordingly you can also make your image file size reduced by whatever requirement is given in your online application form so friends I hope this will help you in your online applications and forms so see you in the next video till then goodbye